r slash ask reddit by redmond dts what should people avoid while traveling to europe watch out for pickpockets in western europe there is a stigma that eastern europe like romania and bulgaria is dangerous but pickpocketing happens more in paris amsterdam barcelona etc barcelona is the worst place i've been in the world for pickpockets along with lima peru nowhere else in europe comes close avoid any restaurant that tries to strong arm you into entering don't rent a car if you're going to stay at a major capital it's not worth it it's much better to use public transport and get an occasional uber in major cities don't let anyone hand you anything such as flowers or whatever once it is in your hands they start asking for money they even gave a flower to one my kids and then wouldn't take it back just set it on the ground and walk away falling in canals and walking on bicycle paths if they come to the Netherlands. Street scammers in Paris, anywhere really, I just mostly see it in Paris. Rome is pretty rampant with it too. Should be obvious, but I'll say it anyway, don't do the Hitler salute while in Germany. Not even as a joke, it's illegal. And, Holocaust denial is illegal in 18 European countries. Fun story. My mother is an English teacher at a Dutch school. Her students went on an extended school trip to Germany and Poland to learn about World War II. At the German border, one of the students thought it'd be hilarious to do a Hitler salute. The whole bus had to turn back. No one was allowed into Germany. Restaurants and touristy areas that have signs out front with pictures of the meals and the price featured prominently. If the menu is translated to several languages that aren't spoken in the country then the restaurant is for tourists. To clarify, menus that also show an English translation aren't an automatic disqualifier. Sometimes you have restaurants that are good and just have a savvy owner who wants to be accessible to foreigners. But if a menu has 4-5 or five languages then they are probably leaning in real hard on the tourist dollar and should be avoided. Be respectful to memorial places. Don't come to the idea to make selfies or similar. Inform yourself about the traditions of the country. In some countries, you can openly make small talk with strangers, while in another one, you do have to approach them like a wild animal. Carry your wallet in your front pocket. If carrying a bag or purse, towards the front. It's a comment for all tourist areas, Europe just has a lot of them. Avoid speaking without exchanging greetings first, in France at least, and not responding in kind when someone greets you. In other words, exchange bonjour before you ask where the toilet is. Avoid letting your kids act like monsters in public, in restaurants in particular. Avoid rushing through meals, unless your kids are acting like monsters. Don't think that what goes for one country goes for all. There is all sorts of differences in cultures, laws, etc. Also applies to regions within countries. Don't dismiss an entire country just because of one city or part of one city. Avoid assuming Europe is all roughly the same. It's a continent, not a country. You don't go to Japan and expect it to be like Indonesia just because they are both in Asia. In other words, it all depends on which country in Europe you are traveling to. Petty theft and scams. Don't leave stuff lying in the seat next to you on public transport. I'd avoid social media and watching TV in the month before your trip and spend that time on Duolingo instead. Not sure where exactly you're going in Europe but it'll help you to know a couple of phrases in the language. It really 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 depends on which part of Europe you are talking about. For example, Finland and Italy are very different places with different social cultures. Heck, there are differences even inside a country. Some tips in Finland, capital area especially. Never sit right next to a stranger unless the bus is super cramped or something. Otherwise, you'll be regarded as a creep. Also don't walk or stand too close to people if there is space. Finnish bus stops are actually a bit funny with how people spread horizontally as far away as possible while still being at the proximity of the bus stop. Don't speak loudly in public spaces, only if you really have to. Otherwise, again, you're a creep. This is more a city thing. Don't interrupt other people. 
unless, again, you have to, or the other person is really rambling on and you have limited time to speak. This is actually a significant difference between Finns and aforementioned Italians. Interrupting or more like elbowing in conversations in Italy is normal traffic rule and implies active engagement and listening. Assuming that both parties are elbowing, while interrupting in Finland implies that you aren't valuing what the other person is telling. Source, I'm a Finn that worked a bit with Italians, I kinda needed to learn new traffic rules with them, it went fine after that. Don't take schedules lightly. A Finn says 2pm. They mean 2pm sharp. Coming over with a bunch of cash and using an exchange service to buy euros. Just use your debit or credit card, everywhere. If you need some cash, take it out of the ATM. Exchange rates will be much better, no commission. 3% fee from your bank, but that's reasonable. Tipping. Don't start making it the norm here. I would recommend avoiding let any tourist group plan your trip. You will only see the most touristy stuff and everything you eat will be insanely expensive. If you research enough you can do well in Europe and eat for much less. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.